We're back here in Lagos, stakeholders have underscored the need for innovative financing to tackle the challenges with devil in the real estate sector, as well as to ensure real growth. This was the major thrust when leaders of thought and key players in the sector converged in the Real Estate Nexus 1.0 conference. The details in this report. Data from the World Population Review indicates that Nigeria has the greatest number of homeless people globally. Within the nation, 24 million people don't have homes. According to the report, the country is the most populous one in Africa. I think it's about 0.5%. That's a wounded beneficiary to Nigeria. It is against this worrisome trend that leaders of thoughts in the real estate sector gather at this maiden conference to dialogue on innovative financing to change the narrative. The convener says it isn't just about speeches and PowerPoint slides, but about forging tangible solutions and blazing a trail towards real estate utopia. Let us take a moment to reflect on the essence of real estate. It is not just about bricks and mortar. It is about the aspiration and the emotion of the people. The panel session is interactive and gives answers to many questions or challenges going on with realtors and developers. How would you describe the sector's posture, reaction to the current storm? You need blockchain to drive it. That's the technology that sort of drives things like that. Now, don't think all the time that you must increase the price. Nigeria's economy has experienced its first share of turbulence, with inflation rates fluctuating and economic stability often been challenged. These challenges have significantly affected the delivery of residential projects. The speaker after speaker tried to weather the storm. Participants are educated and exposed to a forecast for real estate financing in Nigeria and property crowdfunding. Private equity can also help, rights, real estate investment trust and uh, is also one of those um, innovative financing strategies that can help. We've seen the power of diaspora financing and by, by, by putting together solid uh, funding or mechanisms that diaspora Nigerians can invest in. We are just getting the full effect of the rather turbulent economic times. Uh, you will not see it immediately because unlike other countries where uh, there's a high penetration of mortgage, for instance, on countries 80%, um, there's an immediate impact. In Nigeria, most people have paid for their homes, so they have paid rent for a fairly uh, short to medium period of time. So you don't see the immediate impact. Yeah, there are a lot of opportunities because there are new um, areas developing in Nigeria, and the deficit, the um, home ownership deficit is, is alarming. So that's serious uh, opportunities. But one of the major uh, challenge is not actually anything, not the government, but actually the um, practitioners themselves. The convener speaks of enhanced collaboration, favorable policies to make the sector investor friendly, as he also speaks of the place of mortgages. Mortgage, mortgage just changes the game. Mortgage, every economy, every country in the world that have high home ownership rate. It has always rested on very strong mortgage system. So introduction or improvement in our mortgage system will be a game changer. I Meaning a developer is able to assess finance because there are ready buyers who can also assess finance to buy these properties. Real estate development in Nigeria is a dynamic and demanding industry which requires perseverance, adaptability and forward thinking. However, with a focus on innovative financing strategies, a civil lining may just lie ahead of the economic rigors. No. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.